the Argo's doing pretty good. Got us all out here for a family picnic. There's a wild Hayden in his natural habitat. <laughs> we need better tires, but it got us here. We have like three flat tires right now. But I brought an air compressor with me. Oh, oh boy. Watch out for sticks. Oh. Oh. <laughs> it just crawls through this stuff. It's all muskeg. Yeah, I put a bunch of slime in all eight tires. I'm just letting it work its way in there. Just till I get my new tires. It'd be kind of messy when I change them, but I'm going to do it all myself. So. so I'm making some new seats for the Argo today. Pretty straightforward. I uh, took all my measurements off the old seats, cut some new wood. These are gonna be for the back. Yeah, so in the back, I'm gonna have some shorter seats because I'm gonna rig up this uh, toolbox. And then I got some black vinyl I'll just uh, drape over and staple on the underside, just like uh, this was done. So the Argo's doing good. We're here in the sand hills. Nice hill climbs. It climbs that pretty good in low range. Just crawls right up it. I mounted these tires, painted all the rims. I mounted them backwards hoping they would work in the water better. And so far they do. We did some testing. She leaks a little bit, takes on a bit of water. So I gotta fix that. Probably get a bilge pump. Repolstered the seats, made a toolbox for it. That's removable, but I'm going to get some better latches. Air compressor, bear spray, saw, some tools, fuel filter, the basics. You drove it lots today. Did pretty good. We got her stuck last night. And we had to get saved by some other people on quads. They get high centered real easy. You're not unstoppable with these things. You need tracks to really do any serious mudding. So these are the cheapest tires you can uh, get basically for these older Argos. And they're only two ply, so I already put a hole in this one. I had to patch it. The stick went through it pretty easy. But I mean, you can lose a few tires before you have any issues. <laughs> You'll still get home. So these are 22 by 11 by 8 Dural. We lost our brakes once today. This one, the right hand steer. But it still had brake fluid, except I can see pinholes in this cap. So my theory is it got vapor locked. We got a bubble in there or something. Because after letting it sit for a few minutes, it came back. And it's been working the rest of the day. Must be a seal gone on the transmission on the top there because gear oil always comes out while we're running it. Uh, my charging system went out the other day. And that was just a fuse. I had a 20 amp fuse in there and that went. So I put a 30 amp fuse in there. And it's been good so far. One of our headlights went out and I don't know why. And it came back on. And I don't know why. So that was neat. Oh, no, it's out again. That must be a grounding issue. I'll find it. 